Breaking news, take a look at your screen. This has happened at least two days in a row. Migrants breaking through the barbed wire installed along the border. You can see National Guard troops scrambling to stop them. This video was recorded from Juarez, but the migrants are already on the U.S. side because that's where they placed the barbed wire. Now we've been following this breaking story all day. Good evening and thank you for joining us for ABC 7 at 5. I'm Stephanie Valle and I'm Paul C. Kahlo. The video you're seeing is from yesterday, courtesy of our news partners at Canal 44, Channel 44. But more video is circulating on social media from today with the same thing happening. And now we want to bring you our complete team coverage of this here on ABC 7. We have Eddie or rather ABC 7's Sam Harris Simwitz uh, reporting as well as Eddie Berto Perez reporting on the Juarez side of the border on what has been happening. Let's begin with Eddie Berto. He joins us live from Juarez. Good afternoon, Paul. Stephanie, we're here in front of the border wall in Ciudad Juarez, just a couple of feet away of Riverside Elementary School in El Paso's Lower Valley, where just a couple of hours ago, I saw a big or a hundred, a, a small group of, I'm sorry, hundreds of migrants facing U.S. authorities and being surrounded by the Texas National Guard. You can see that right now it is pretty empty in front of the border wall. What's left, it's here, just a small group of migrants along the Rio Grande on the U.S. side of the border. I want you to take a look again at this video and what I saw earlier today. You can see this big group of migrants being surrounded by the members of the Texas National Guard and U.S. Border Patrol agents. According to the New York Post, the groups of migrants brought down one portion of the fence and then they ran towards the border wall. This happened yesterday as well. You can see it in this video shared to us again by your news partners in Juarez, Canal 44. Today I also saw some Texas National Guard soldiers placing a new portion of that fence and more razor wire. U.S. Border Patrol in El Paso sector explained to us why this, this is not the place where migrants should be turning themselves in. This is not designated as a port of entry to make a, a legal claim for asylum. Okay, Anybody that comes into our country between ports of entry, they're doing it in an illegal way. Regardless of your immigration status, even for a United States citizen, it's completely illegal to make an entry between ports of entry. And Paul Stephanie, U.S. Border Patrol agent Marrero Rubio also told me why migrants keep doing this by turning them themselves in here in front of the border wall and the average number of encounters they've seen so far in this month of March. I'll have a full story coming up tonight on ABC 7 at 6. Reporting live from the U.S.-Mexico border, Heriberto Perez, ABC 7. Thank you, Heriberto. And also, take a look at this. This here is video we were talking about earlier. It is from today. It was recorded by a crew from the New York Post. And you can see, similar to what Canal 44, Channel 44 and what is captured yesterday, you can see dozens and dozens of migrants breaking through that barbed wire. ABC 7 Sam here, Simowitz, he joins us live with the reporter who saw this all happen. Sam. Good afternoon, Paul. I'm going to bring in New York Post reporter Jenny Tear. Jenny, so thank you so much for joining us today. Happy to be here. Thank you. Jenny, you've been here all day and you saw what took place around this gate earlier. Can you describe to our audience exactly what you saw and exactly what you heard? When we had arrived here, there was a group of about 600 migrants that had amassed along the border wall, separated by demographics. So it was single adult males on one side and the women and children on the other side and families. The single adults seem to be being turned back by Texas National Guard here uh, to Mexico in small groups because the number of people that were here was so overwhelming for them. So when they were being pushed back and started realizing that that was their fate, they started to become more and more agitated, yelling at our cameras, yelling at the Texas National Guard, which there were only a few down here, so they were completely outnumbered. And you saw within a matter of seconds, a complete takeover by the migrants who had crossed here that had overtaken all of the National Guard's territory here, that had run up to the fence in a group of about two to three hundred, uh, encircled them. Basically, the National Guard disappeared. It was very worrisome because you had yelling, you had banging. You didn't know what was happening to those guardsmen, and it was almost like their worst fears realized. 
And Jenny, so when I arrived around two o'clock, there was quite a bit of whether it was state or federal law enforcement. How long did it get for that larger, whether it's Border Patrol or Texas DPS presence to really show up here at the gate? Mm -hmm. There was a presence of Texas DPS here when this all broke out, as well as, of course, the Texas National Guard and some Border Patrol. But again, they're completely outnumbered right now. And with the numbers like 600, they just can't get the manpower out here to really support that, to be able to process the women and children, to be able to turn back the people they want to turn back and talking with border patrol agents in the area this is something that they're very worried about is when they're outnumbered being taken advantage of by people who really are upset with the situation and know their fate isn't going to be to get processed and released into the country which is what seemingly happened here and you've been covering these stories for quite some time does this compare to anything you've seen in the past you know, we've seen a big shift in recent years after covering this for a number of years. It seems like there's been a lot more agitators. It seems like there's been a lot more stories of people coming with criminal histories that are gang members, that are on the terror watch list. We just had a man who was a Hezbollah uh, member that crossed into El Paso uh, and he threatened to, th to make a bomb when he spoke with health personnel in the processing center. And that's just one story that you're seeing. It seems like those are happening more frequently. And this case here, it seems like they were trying to push the barrier of what they could accomplish. And they really accomplished something very dangerous. All right, Jenny, thank you so much for your time. And we'll have more details on what we've learned from Customs and Border Protection coming up on ABC 7 at 6, reporting live from the U.S.-Mexico border. Sam harris Simowitz, ABC 7. Thank you for that live report, Sam. And Sam recorded this video earlier this afternoon in that same area near the border wall. You can see several migrants, um, and it w looks like young men being loaded into a Border Patrol unit in the Lower Valley. Eventually, the unit drove off to take the migrants to a processing center. We're told they will likely be deported. Don't forget to download the KVIA News app. It is constantly updated with all the breaking news happening in the borderland. It is free and available on the App Store and Google Play.